Uh, that whistle. That's the Rinso White whistle. Oh, and Rinso means us. That's right. Rinso gets clothes Rinso White, and Rinso presents the Amos and Andy Show. I know told me that much as she enjoys cooking, half the joy of the mealtime is spoiled for her by the thought of doing the dishes her family is piling up. Of course, you know what I told her, that if she used Rinso for dishwashing, she could eat in peace, because she'd know that just as Rinso suds get out more dirt from clothes, they make short work of the biggest pile of dishes. Yes, those rich Rinso suds get rid of grease and sticky food particles faster than most soaps. Even your pots and pans are a lot easier to get shiny bright with Rinso on the job. And Rinso's easy on your hands, too. So, ladies, tomorrow, first thing, get Rinso. And now our stars, Amos and Andy. Well, something big is happening in Harlem this week. The Ink Flow Fountain Pen Company is offering the exclusive sales agency for the Harlem Territory to whoever sells the most pens by next Wednesday. Andy Brown and George Kingfish Stevens have again formed a partnership and expect to win the sales contest. At the moment, they're in Andy's office boasting of their expected victory to Amos. Yeah, Amos, there ain't no doubt about that me and the Kingfish is going to be the Harlem sales agents for the ink flow pen. Yeah, well, I hope so, fellas. Uh, it sure is a nice writing pen. If you does get the sales agency, you ought to do a pretty good business. A pretty good business? Why, we're going to do a great business. Uh, how much business would you say that Montgomery Ward do every year? Uh, Montgomery Ward? Uh, oh, I guess they do at least a uh, hundred million a year. A hundred million, huh? Uh, let me put that another way. Uh, how much you think uh, Shorty next door doing his barber shop every year? Oh, about a thousand dollars a year. Well, then I would say we're going to do somewhere between Montgomery Ward and Shorty's barber shop. Right? <laughs> oh, sure, Amos, sure. We is really going to be a success. Uh, fellas, the way you talk, uh, you sounds as if they done already handed you the exclusive contract. Well, the practical is. After all, when we turns in them orders for 3,000 pens, there ain't going to be no question about it. Did you fellas sell 3,000 pens already? Well, uh, no, not the entire amount. Uh, then how many pens is your soul? Uh, two. <laughs> two. Oh, fellas, how can you even talk about when the exclusive sales agency, when all you done sold is two pens? Amos, you don't understand. Them two pens we done sold was just a trial sale to see how easy it was. The people we sold them to grabbed them like hotcakes. Oh, they did, huh? Oh, that sounds good, all right. Yeah, first Andy sold one and then I sold one. Uh, who'd you sell them to? To each other. <laughs> Fellas, that is the silliest thing I don't ever hear of. Listen, Amos, even though we bought the pens ourselves, it was a fair test. How? Well, we played like we didn't know each other and wasn't even in the market for a new fountain pen. Yeah, that's right, Amos. And in spite of that, we just couldn't help from buying these beautiful new ink flow pens. Uh, there's only one trouble, though. Uh, what is that, Andy? We ain't collected from each other yet. <laughs> Well, I sure wish you your luck, but ain't there a lot of other people trying out with this company to win the exclusive sales agency here? Oh, no. According to the company, there's just one other person competing. We don't know the name of the man, but uh, whoever he is, he don't stand a chance against the two of us. Yeah, well, I just hope it all turns out all right. Well, I'll see you later, fellas. Good luck. Okay, Emma. So long, Emma. Well, now, Kingfish, that we as big businessmen, I guess the next thing to do is find a secretary we can hire for the office here. Oh, uh, yeah, good idea. Now, what kind of a secretary do you think we ought to get, Andrew? Well, we ought to get the kind of a girl that, uh, uh, no, we better get one where I can get some work done. <laughs> 
Uh, why don't you look into Harlem newspaper you got there, Kingsley? Oh, uh, yeah, here, just right here. We ought to be able to find somebody in the classified ads here. Yeah, let me see. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, housekeeper, switchboard operator. Say, wait a minute. Here, one here. Look at uh, uh, this look like something. Listen. Young woman will do part-time secretary work in exchange for use of office. Call Miss Genevieve Blue, Lehigh Ford. Wait a minute. Wait, uh, Genevieve Blue. Yeah. That's my old stenographer, Miss Blue. Well, I bet doggone. Uh, that's exactly who... Oh, I remember her. Buzz me, Miss Blue. You remember that? <laughs> oh, boy, this is great. Uh, she's dumb, but... Me and you has got enough brains for the three of us. Let's get her over here. <laughs> well, Miss Blue, it sure is nice having you back. Oh, thank you. Yeah, but uh, on this part-time basin, uh, how many hours a day does you think you can give us? Well, now, Mr. Fish King, that depends on how busy I am. Mm. Let's see, there are 24 hours an average day, ain't there? Most days, yeah. Well, my meals take about three hours a day, three and a half if the coffee is too hot. My hair and nails take another two hours, then I sleep eight or nine hours, sometimes even ten. You know, I find that going to bed early is the best way to keep from staying up late. Now, of course, on the other hand... Oh, that's I... fine, Miss Blue. Now, but, but what we are trying to find out is how much time can you work here at the office? All the time, except the first few hours a week, I do some outside work to support my mother in Louisiana. You know, it's the strangest thing about mother. She's never been out of Louisiana in her whole life. And me, i never been in Louisiana, except, of course, for a short time when I was born. <laughs> I had to be there for that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess a daughter owes that much to her mama. <laughs> Uh, in other words, besides a few hours a week for this outside work of yours, uh, the rest of the time you can work for us. Oh, yeah, so Mr. Kingfish. Uh, excuse me, Miss Lou. Uh, I'll get it in. Uh, hello, George Kingfish Stevens talking. Kingfish, this is Henry Van Porter. Oh, uh, hello there, Henry. Say, Kingfish, I could tell you where you could positively sell 500 fountain pens. Oh, uh, 500? Uh, Henry, where is the place? Well, uh, you go see Mr. Billings at the Billings office supply. Mm -hmm. He told a friend of mine last night that he's all out of pens and he needs 500 of them at once for the Christmas holiday. Oh, that's great, Henry. We'll call you back later. Goodbye. And uh, put on your shoes. We done just since the big order. Oh, that's great, Kingfish. But, Mr. Fish, what about me? What about the job? Uh, the job? Uh, take off your hat and coat and go to work. We'll see you later. <laughs> the place, Kingfish. The Billings Office Supply Company. Let's go in. Now, now, uh, hold it just a minute, then. Now, hold it. Now, just, just wait, wait just a minute, Judge. I got an idea walking over here, and I want you to listen to me. Yeah, go ahead. Now, the best way, Andy, that I've always found, and you know I as a salesman, the best way to sell something is to first create a demand for it. Oh, sure. There ain't no doubt about that demand stuff, uh... How we create one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to explain to you right yeah, now. Explain that to yeah, well, don't stand there with ignorance all over your face. I'm going to tell you what it is here. <laughs> yeah, now, uh, we know that since the man here in the store is out of fountain pens, he certainly can't have no inkflow pens. So if you walk in ahead of me, see, I don't go in with you. I wait out here. You goes in, mm. and you pretend that you are shopping for Christmas presents. Yeah. And you want 50 of the finest pens on the market, the inkflow. Now, this fellow Billings is certainly going to wish he had some. Yeah, that's creating a demand, all right. All uh, right. Now, then, uh, while you're talking to the man, I bust in there in the nick of time, and I get the order for the 500 ink floors. Yeah. Now, you go on in there, Andy, and get the ball rolling. And remember, now, when I walk in, I don't know you now when I come in there, you know. Okay, Kingfish. Here I go. Creating. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's pretty big business, though. Now, if I can find the boss, this is... Uh oh this must mean Mr. Billings is coming over here now. Oh, good morning. Is there something I can show you? Oh, uh, yes, sir, yes. You see, uh, I was doing my Christmas shopping early, and I want to buy some fountain pens, uh, ink flow pens. Mm, I see. Yeah, the reason I got to have the ink flow pen is because it's the only one on the market with the adjustable ink flow, and 
Comes in 12 beautiful colors, and ain't it too bad that you ain't got none. Well, uh, now, uh, how many ink flow pens would you want? Oh, uh, oh, about 50. Shall I wrap them as gifts for you? Yeah, that'd be a... Uh... Wait a minute. Wait, uh, you mean you got ink flow pens? 50 of them? I've got 500 of them. I bought them this morning from an ink flow representative. Oh, me. You know, Mr. Oh, I was just... Here I is in the nick of time, you happy ink flow salesman. <laughs> Uh, uh, Kingfish, Mr. Billings. Uh, uh, I got the order for 500 ink flow pens all read out here, Mr. Billings. All you got to do is sign it. Uh, wait a minute, please. I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, well, you see, uh, I happen to be outside, and I overheard this unknown customer creating a demand. So I thought I'd buzz right in with the supply here. <laughs> uh, Kingfish, I got to tell you something, Kingfish. Please, please. Uh, quiet, uh, Andy. Uh, Mr. Billings, I uh, can't understand how this unknown customer here happened to catch my name like that. Yes, very strange. You caught his, too. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Kingfish, you got to listen to me. All right, what do you want, unknown customer? <laughs> I don't want nothing, except he done already bought the 500 ink flow pens from our competitor. Yeah, well, that's the reason I come in here. Uh, 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 what is that again, Andy? Your unknown friend was trying to tell you that if you came in to sell me 500 ink flow pens, you're a little late. I bought them this morning, and they've already been delivered. Yeah, well, uh, after hearing that, Andy, I just got an idea. An idea? What is it, unknown friend? And I wish you was. <laughs> Let's get acquainted and get out of here and sell some pens. Uh... <laughs> Madam, uh, I is going house to house representing the ink flow fountain pen. And I don't I... want any fountain pen and get your foot out of my door. But, madam, the ink flow pen is the only... Ouch! My foot! Ooh. Oh, good morning. Uh, madam, I... Uh, hello. <laughs> Did you want something? Well, uh, there was something, but uh, that don't mean nothing now, uh, honey. Who's there at the door, dear? I don't know, darling. Hey, what's the idea of disturbing me and my wife? Well, uh, uh, uh... You I, selling something? Uh, selling... Uh, no, no, uh, selling... No, no, sir, no, sir. I just give it away free fountain pens, that's all. Here, have one, there. It's absolutely free. <laughs> Shorty, I'm glad I found you alone with nobody in your barber chair. Oh, uh, oh, 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 hello, Andy. Uh, how are you feeling today, Shorty? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry you, I'm sorry you asked me that, uh, uh, Andy. My, my, my stomach's all upset. Uh, my blood pressure's way, uh, way, uh, 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 my, my ulcers, they, they got, uh, my, my dizzy, my dizzy spells, they got, I feel great. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're feeling good, Shorty, because, mm. you know, when a man feels good, that's when he feels reporting, and when a man feels reporting, that's the time he needs a fountain pen. Mm. And since I represent the Ink Flow Fountain Pen Company, I want to sell you one. Oh, the Ink Flow Pen, that, uh, see, that, that, that's one of the greatest fountain pens. Uh, if it, 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 I've been looking for, uh, n never get no ink on your face, uh, always write without the legal, uh, not, uh, the ink comes out without, uh, without, uh, I use a pencil. <laughs> uh, looky here, Shorty. Listen mm -hmm. here. Every man needs an ink flow pen, and there's guarantee. Uh, uh, how, how much is the ink flow pen, Andy? A dollar a piece. Yeah. Do oh, Andy, I, I can't afford that kind of money. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of money. Uh, give me six of them. Six pens, or oh, that great, Shorty. Here, here you is. Now, just give me the money. Uh, here, here you is, Andy. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm? What is this fifty cent piece? Where's the other five and a half? Well, Andy, Andy, you you owe me uh, owe me that for for haircuts. Yeah, but I didn't tell you to take it out in pens, did I? 
Well, now, wait a minute. Uh, Annie, you, you told me that uh, when, when you got the haircut, you, uh, don't you remember? You, you, say, you said that uh, well, you, you promised me that you thought the thing to do with it, uh, it was my own idea. <laughs> Kingfish, yeah. look at here, we've been out selling all morning, you ain't got nothing but promises, and I have seven pens in the red. Seven pens in the red? Yeah. Six of them I give to Shorty for haircuts, and one to a gal's husband for a close shave. <laughs> you know, you know, Kingfish, it sure looks like our competitor is going to get the exclusive contract. Yeah, but, Anna, uh, uh, didn't I tell you that the buyer of the PLS department store promised that he had phoned later today about giving us an order for 1,500 ink flow pens? Mm. Yeah, now, we ain't out of this competition yet, you know. Now, let's get out here and see if we can't get some customers. Yeah. Uh, almost blue. You want me, Mr. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, we ain't had time to tell you yet, but we are in uh, reporting business, and me and Mr. Brown has got to go out after more sales. Yeah, you see, we is bucking another fellow to get this territory. I sure hope you beat him, whoever he is. And don't you worry, I'll stay right here and take all the phone messages, and I'll just take care of the office, and I'll just hand it uh, All right, all right. Goodbye, Mr. Blue. Come on, Andy. Uh, my goodness, there's the most talkative man. I can't get it in word in that way. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Miss Blue. Uh, this is Miss Blue. Who is this? Uh, Miss Blue, this is Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams? Yes. Oh, Mr. Williams. I hope you're not calling because I haven't been doing well enough in my job with you. You see, I have to work as a part-time scene. Uh, hold, a minute. hold on a minute, Miss Blue. I called to tell you what a wonderful job you're doing. In fact, I'd like to come up this afternoon and talk to you personally. Oh, Mr. Williams. Do you really mean that? Mean it? Why, with the sales record you've shown, there's no doubt in my mind that you'll be the exclusive Harlem representative of the Ink Flow Pen Company. Well, so the Kingfish and Andy's competition in the Ink Flow Pen Contest is their own secretary. Things ought to begin to happen when they find out, which they probably will very shortly. You know, friends, I like to kid myself into thinking that I deserve the credit for spreading the good word about Rinso. Well, actually, you ladies really spread the news. Over a luncheon table, for instance. You? This blouse? Oh, I bet he I've had it for ages. It's so hard to replace clothes these days, what with materials being so scarce and all. I try to take specially good care of my things. And you know, I found that Rinso's a big help. It really keeps my clothes looking practically like new after dozens of washings. Well, Betty found out for herself how good Rinso really is. Then she phoned a friend. Marge, I could hardly believe I could get my wash done so quickly and so easily. And really, every piece is as clean as a whistle. You know that Rinso whistle? And it isn't long before friend Marge is telling about to be married Janie Perkins. You see, Janie, Rinso gets out more dirt. So your whitewash comes out snowy Rinso white. Washable colors sparkling Rinso bright. And that, Janie, is something to whistle about. Try Rinso yourself, ma'am, and you'll be whistling every wash day, too. And now back to the Amos and Andy Show. Andy and the Kingfish are certainly in for a big surprise because they don't know that their competitor for the Harlem agency of the Ink Flow Pen is their part-time secretary, Miss Genevieve Blue. Nor do they know, as we join them now in Andy's office, that Mr. Williams, sales manager of the Ink Flow Pen Company, is on his way uptown right now to see her. Miss Blue, was there any messages while we was out? Well, Shorty DeBarbo was in. He said that he came over to tell you that he wanted a... Uh, um, that he would like to, uh, uh, that he was very anxious that, uh, that he had to see about, uh, he didn't want nothing. Yeah, uh, that show was getting short as message, all right, word for word. Uh, any, uh, telephone calls? No, sir, just one for me. Yeah, well, you get on in the back office, Miss Blue, and do whatever you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, sir, Mr. Byron. Yeah, I sure wish that buyer of the peerless department store would call up and order them 1,500 tens, Andy. 
He said he'd call up sometime today. Yeah, that show would put us on a... Wait a minute. Who is this coming in? Uh, how you do, sir? Oh, pardon me. Is this your office? Oh, yes, sir. That's right. Well, uh, I'm Mr. Williams of the Ink Flow Pen Company, and I was looking for... Oh, Mr. Williams, I'm uh, glad to know you. My name was Stevens. This is Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how is you, Mr. Williams? Yeah, I guess you come up to see how we're doing with the Harlem Territory. Oh, we're hitting the ball all right, sir. Oh, yes, yes, Stevens and Brown. Well, I had no idea you were in the same office with... Uh... Oh, yeah, sir, yeah, sir. We was in the same office. Uh, me and Brown work right together here. Uh... Yeah, that's right. Uh, by the way, Mr. Williams, uh, what's the name of our competitor on this thing? Is that a secret? Oh, it's no secret. Your competitor's name is Blue. Yeah, well, now, like I say, uh, the thing, uh, 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 Blue. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. Uh, you say Blue? That's right. Uh, Blue, oh, that couldn't be possible. No. Man. Well, now, anyway, Mr. Williams, uh, we're really going to start uh, sending in orders. Uh... Yeah, you said it. You might have to build your plant bigger to take care of it. Yeah, uh, I tell you, there's no limit of what can we can do when we start, uh, uh, you say that name was Blue? Yes, that's right. Uh, not that it make no difference to us. Uh, it's, uh, just a crazy thought I got in my head, but, uh, would you say this person Blue that's competing with us is a male or female? Well, I don't know what you're driving at, but it happens to be, uh, Miss Blue. As a matter of fact, the reason I came here was to, uh... Oh, you say Miss Blue, huh? Uh... Post English blue is a common name. A lot of blues. Oh yeah, the whole thing is just a coincidence. Uh, yeah. Let's forget it. Uh, now, Mr. Williams, uh, getting back to the business we're going in, uh, we know that the ink flow pen do is uh, what is the first name? Uh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute, Mr. Williams. If her first name is Genevieve, we don't want to hear it. Uh, what is it? Genevieve. We don't want to hear it. <laughs> Now, look, I came here to see Miss Blue, who is, incidentally, doing a wonderful job selling our pens. I might say she's miles ahead of you in this competition. At the rate she's going, she'll have this contest since for the next 24 hours. Now, uh, where can I find her? She's in the back office. Oh, yeah. oh thank you. I'll go back and see her. Mm -hmm. She'll have it since in the next 24 hours. Kingsley, two million secretaries in New York, and we got to pick our competitor. Yeah, and this competition is over on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, what is we going to do? We got to win, Kingsley. Say, wait a minute, Brother Ender. I think I got an angle. Yeah. Listen, this ought to work. Come on, Andy. We got some arrangements to make. Uh, now that we got everything all set, Andy, here's how it's going to work. Yeah, this is good, all right. Now, Lightning is going to phone the office here and say that he is the buyer of the Philadelphia Supply Company mm -hmm. and that he wants Miss Blue to come to Philadelphia for a big order of ink flow pens. Yeah, that'll keep her in Philadelphia all day, where she won't sell nothing, and in the meantime, we're going to have Harlem all to ourselves. Yeah, now look here, on top of that, the PLS department store, you know, is supposed to phone us about 1,500 pens that we're going to order. Yeah. Uh, now, Brother Ander, uh, we are going to win this thing yet if you just stick with me, because we're going to get that order from the PLS store. Oh, sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here she comes now, Kingsley. Uh, come in, Miss Blue, come in. Oh, I hope you're not going to fire me just because you found out I'm selling ink for pens, too. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Miss Blue, no. Fact is, just to show you there ain't no hard feelings, me and the Kingfish has decided that, well, you can have the next order that's telephoned in. Oh, that's almost wonderful. I can't thank you enough. And when I write to Mother down in Louisiana, I'm going to tell her that... Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you better take that phone call, Miss Blue. All right. Oh, uh, there's Lightning now, Emma. Yeah. Hello. Hello. This is the Peerless Department Store. If you come right over, you can have the order for 1,500 ink flow pens. 1,500 pens? Oh, that's a wonderful order. Thank you so much. I'll be right over. Goodbye. Oh, I just got the most wonderful order. I've got to dash out now. Let me get my hat. Oh, Kingsley, 1,500. Boy, that light in the show piled it on, Eddie. Uh, Miss Blue, uh, don't feel that you got to rush back. Just take your time. <laughs> well, thanks again. Goodbye. Uh, you're welcome. Well, partner dear, we certainly slipped one over on the smart Miss Blue, ain't we? Oh, show. And you got to hand it to light on the way he built it up there. 1,500 pins. <laughs> Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll get it. 
Hello? Ah, uh, hello. This is the Philadelphia Supply Company. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a... Uh, who is this, Lightning? Uh, yeah, I said, this is Lightning of the Philadelphia Supply Company. <laughs> and I got an order for 500 fountain pens if you come right over. Listen, Lightning, you done called once already. What's the idea of calling the second time? Uh, this is the first time I have called. Well, then, who was it that called before and ordered them 1,500 fountain pens? Uh oh. Goodbye, Lightning. <laughs> Kingfish. Something was wrong. Yeah. She got tearless, huh? Yeah. Listen, Kingfish, this whole thing was your great idea. What you gotta say now? I wonder how the law reads on shooting a stenographer. <laughs> Now, Gabby, you as our lawyer. Now, that order for 1,500 pens belongs to us. Now, what can we do about it? Uh, let me see, let me see. Um, now, let me see what the legal angle is. Oh, yeah, um, mm -hmm. come to now, come to now. It's reckless driving, that's what it is. It's reckless driving. Reckless driving? How you figure that, Gabby? Well, you fellas are awful reckless to let her answer the phone. Now, she's driving you out of business. That's reckless driving if I ever had it. <laughs> Tell me this, Gabby, in case we want to sue Miss Blue, uh, is we got something here, or will the case be thrown out of court? Well, as your lawyer, as your lawyer, I assure you that you really got something. The case won't be thrown out of court. What won't be thrown out of court? There's only one trouble, one trouble. Oh, uh, what's that? The case won't be thrown out, but you will. <laughs> oh, man. Gabby, ain't you got no advice for us to keep in the running for the exclusive sales agency for the ink flow pen? There's only one thing to do, one thing to do. Merge with a form of partnership. That's where you can both get the sales agency. Merge is a thing. Oh, yes, indeed. Merge is a thing. Yeah, wait a minute. Merger. Yeah. Come on, Ander. Let's get a hold of that gal right now and tie her up. Listen, Kingfish, this was your idea, merging with Miss Blue. Yeah, well, uh, how did I know that it was going to turn out this way? The merger turned out that we was working for her as a couple of janitors. Yeah. <laughs> and we done told everybody that we is a couple of big executives here. I ashamed. What is we going to tell our friends? Yeah. Well, let's don't stand here. I'll take the dustpan, you take the broom, and... Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll get it. <laughs> Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Andy. This is Amos. I just called up to find out how you and the Kingfish is doing with your merger. Amos, believe me, we is clean enough. Just clean enough. and Andy again in just a moment. You know, it's a wise lady who treats her good friends considerately. And come wash day, your washer is one of the best friends you have. So don't run it for hours. Get Rinso's soapy rich suds on the job. As little as a five-minute run per load gets clothes Rinso white. No wonder Rinso is the only soap officially endorsed by the makers of 33 leading washers. No wonder Rinso users whistle while they wash. Rinso white, happy little wash day song. Rinso white, ready to sing it all day long. Your clothes are so white and the color so bright. You sing as you work along. Rinso white, happy little wash day. Happy to be with us again next Friday evening at this same time when the makers of Rinso will again present Amos and Andy with their guests, that great star of screen and radio, Frank Morgan. 
This program is broadcast to our armed forces everywhere. This is Harlow Wilcox saying good night to you for all of us and reminding you that every nine minutes, one of your fellow Americans dies of tuberculosis. Will you help to fight this menacing disease? You can just by buying and using Christmas seals. The money from Christmas seals works all year round to fight the growing threat of tuberculosis. This Christmas, be sure you join the fight. Buy and use more Christmas seals. Why is Life Boy America's favorite bath soap? I'll tell you two big reasons. Life Boy in your daily bath gives all over protection from B.O. Yes, from head to toe, it stops B.O. And Life Boy gives protection that lasts and lasts. So play safe. Make sure Life Boy's in your soap dish. It's the only soap especially made to stop. <laughs> This is the National Broadcasting Company.